Hey, what's going on, guys? I just got home from work, and uh, I just got a package. This should be the Benchmade 950 Rift, all back from customization. Um, if anybody watches Solo's channel, uh, Randy, you'll you would have already seen this. He did. You, he showed a little piece on his channel. It looks amazing. I can't wait to actually feel it and get it in my hands and everything. Literally, I just put all my stuff down from work. I'm all dressed up, still suited up, and everything. I don't know what that showed, but whatever. All right, so I'm I'm just excited to get this done. So let's uh, let's let's open a knife. Okay, let's pick one up. Yeah, uh, this has been my favorite. So far, been absolutely loving this thing. Took the lanyard off just so I can see a little better. Anyway, let's unbox, package, let's unstuff this thing. So as you guys, as I said, you know, I just started my job and all that stuff. So that's starting, which is awesome. Gonna get paid soon, or I'm getting paid now. Uh, hopefully we'll start making some good money soon, get a lot more knives and flashlights and cool pens and all that great stuff and sharpening gear. So, you know, hopefully this channel will get a whole lot more interesting in the next month or two. We can only hope, right guys? <laughs> so I know you guys have been sticking with me. I know it's probably been a little boring. So Randy, amazing job of wrapping this. Uh, you know. I'm just trying to give you guys some filler while... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't, uh, I'm just going to do this. I was going to cut it on camera, but you guys know. I'm just kind of trying to open this up quick, so I'll make this too long. Envelope, 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 packaging, packaging, packaging. Here we go. Here you go, guys. You can see some cutting. Yeah. Oh. And here she is. You can already tell that stone washing and etching job. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, and that pocket clip looks a hundred times better. It was all, uh, you know, it was still like the black was coming off. It looked gouged. This looks, just from the outside, this looks fantastic. Oh, yeah. That looks sick. That looks amazing. Oh yeah, that is cool, man. That is cool. And then of course, I also asked him to try and put in a finger choil. If you guys know the 950 Rift, uh, you'll know or if you watch my other video, you'll realize that this blade actually came to about here. It was almost straight down from here, but I think it was actually right around there. So Randy only took like, you know, minimal, extremely minimal off the blade. And if you'll notice this handle, it was almost had like two horns there and there. He took some of that away and built in a finger choil. So a true... 50, oh yeah, that feels good. A true 50-50 finger choil. Check that out. I mean, to me, to me, this knife screamed for that. With this, with this ridge here, and then um, this guard was up farther, but he kept it. You know, this guard was, the bottom finger guard was probably as forward as the top one. So he brought it back, and I mean, Randy being just full of quality and always doing things perfectly. And not half-assing anything. Uh, he even threw in jimping in there. Look at that. That looks fantastic. There you go. That looks fantastic. And look at that job he did. The etching and the stone washing. I mean, that is that is awesome. So now, you know, he still left the top guard. So now you, this is how you'd normally hold the knife. Which is still comfortable, which I specifically asked him to do. You know, I definitely wanted, wanted to have both grips. And uh, then also, oh, you could choke up to here. I mean, that feels great. And he, he left perfect amount of room. The jimping on the finger choil grabs. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, just, I really, when, when he shot me the idea, I, I pretty much just said, hey, can you take a little bit off of this 
to make a finger choil. And then Randy said, yeah. Uh, he's like, yeah, that's a great idea. Uh, actually, I think I can, I'm going to take away some of the handle, too, to give you a true 50-50 choil. I said, great, you know, do whatever, do, do what you think, man, I trust you. Um, but I was kind of unsure how he was going to do it without, like, completely taking this away. And, I mean, you know, leave it to the artist. He did it awesome, you know. Uh, he also was nice enough to stonewash the liners or etch and stonewash the liner so that matches the blade. And I just think it it goes exceptionally well, exceptionally well with the whole knife. It's now the blade, the liners, the clip, they all match. And honestly, um, I haven't had this knife in such a long time. I forget if, uh, I forget if this was here <laughs> or if Randy put in that finger groove to get into the thumb stud. And then he also said he uh, polished up he polished up the bushing area or the pivot point on the blade so for extra smooth and I mean it, it really is. That thing is just hanging hanging loose. So he, he did a fantastic job. Look at that, it just drops. Excellent guys, here let me try and give you a different view, sorry. So there she is, the whole thing. So now that I have this knife back, and I'll be able to carry it more, uh, since I'm working in a suit and everything, probably just on the weekends or at nights, but I'll definitely be starting to use this a lot. And uh, I'll let you guys know how this finger choil feels and how his coating, how his etching and stone washing uh, holds up. But, wow. I mean, this this thing just looks, this thing looks awesome. You know, it... What he did and what our ideas, our ideas were. I mean, I, I think the knife should come like this factory. I think this is exactly. This maximizes the look, you know, the the black and gray G10 with the gray etching and stone wash, um, the finger, the ramp here, and then uh, being able to have a finger guard and choke up right. I mean, this is, this is how it should have came, and this is awesome. So, Randy, thank you very very much. His channel is uh, Solo Knife Reviews, and uh, great, great channel to subscribe to. Not that he needs any uh, promoting from me, because likely if you watch my channel, you watch his. But uh, just a great guy, and he does do this. Um, he is offering his blade etching service, which, I mean, in my opinion, guys, this looks amazing. This is some of the coolest etching and still washing. You know, I love the darker blade, almost like patinaed, and... Um, and with like the stone wash on it. This is awesome. So he, he will do this. So, you know, it's a small fee, in my opinion, well worth it. Makes the knife look unique, custom, and uh, just 10, 10 times better. Uh, so he will do this. And uh, some spine rounding and stuff. And he's a perfectionist. He tapes off the knife. Um, the knife is going to come back guaranteed better than you sent it. Um, he goes above and beyond anything, you know, that you guys talk, that you guys will talk about or anything you ask of him. He's a... Uh, Quality YouTuber, quality person, seems like a great guy. So, Randy, thank you very much. This is awesome. I think he did put that there. I I really do. I think that cut out, I think he also added that as a little bit of a surprise. I could be completely wrong, but um, I'm pretty sure I used to have to fight this to get it there, and this is just a lot easier now. So, amazing guy to deal with. Definitely, definitely, uh, you know. If you have any uh, customization ideas, give them your business. It's going to turn out great. So drop me, a, you know, leave me a comment. Let me know uh, what you think of this. You know, your ideas, op opinions. But I love it. So, uh, yeah. Obviously, you don't have to let me know that I talk too long because I know I do. It's all right. <laughs> I'll just give you some knife porn and cut it off. There you go. Can I get a super close up? Yeah, look at that. That's quality. That looks awesome. And I love how you can see the faint lines, how the uh, grind lines are actually accentuated. Really cool design. Really, really cool looking. I was thinking about having him. Uh, belt sand or belt grind whatever polish this flat portion 
all the way over. I thought that would have looked pretty cool. But, you know, it just I didn't do it because it just wouldn't have went with the style of his knife, of this knife. This definitely flows better. Awesome. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I can't believe this went on for 10 minutes, but, you know, I can't, uh, I can't repeat in unpackaging. So I uh, apologize for the, video, for the long video, but, you know, whatever. I'm just excited. Uh, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one.